Hi, this is Brother Bryce, and I'm going to show you how to change the questions and answer choices of your game board. It is set up as a grid. Uh, this game board, if you can see, let me let me hide these real quick. If you can see, there's there's columns to here and rows. So if I refer to column A, row one, that means this this piece right here. If I refer to column A, row two, that means this um, this square right here. So if I, if I wanted to change column A, row 2's text uh, and, and answer choices, I would go into this one, this group right here. It says column A, row 2. So pretty simple enough. Uh, and then also what I'll want to do is, uh, since I can't really see all the, the graphics behind here right now, I want to be able to view that. So I'll go ahead and put this as visible, this question group as visible. And uh, and then now I can see it a little bit better of what it will look like exactly on publish. So now uh, when I want to change this, all I need to do is simply change the text. Uh, real simple and basic. Um, so my new question. Okay, and then uh, again change these. Uh, you can change them to whatever you need them to be. But I'll just put a few modifications in there to show you that they, they actually did change. So if I did that, and then uh, here, uh, what I'd want to do is make sure this is centered right. So just bring down the text box a little bit. Make sure it's uh, it looks clean and nice that way. So that's how, do you, how to change the text. Now, if you've gone through the game and seen what it looks like, you'll notice that there are some questions that have a multiple response, meaning that you can select more than one as the correct answer, and some that uh, have a, a true and false type of, uh, of question choices. Uh, there's also a, uh, an option that you can do only have only three as well, rather than four answer choices. And I'll show you how to do that. So, so basically, uh, let me show you ex an example of a multiple response question. And we can change these around, but uh, let's go ahead and show you this real quick. So if I go into column A, row 1, which that was a uh, multiple response, as we can see there's two correct answers here. Um, we go into the question, and it says there's an action that says set answer here. So I try to make it nice and clear for, for anybody uh, trying to find where it's at. Um, and here, in here is where you set the answer, what, which one's true, uh, which one is the correct answer. So, um, so I labeled it as C and D as the correct answer. Uh, and that's the two bottom ones here. So A, B, C, and D, is the, uh, those are specified as. And then uh, if I wanted it to be a multiple response, I may have to make sure to put MR in there as well, just signifying it as a multiple response question and having those um, that function uh, be a multiple response. Um, and so, so that's basically all you have to do. Uh, if I do go ahead and delete that, I can go ahead and delete it, and now it's a C. And so now only C is the correct answer, and this is not the correct answer. So let's go ahead and change that. Wrong. And I'll show you how it, how it changes very easily to be a multiple response to a true and false, or a true, multiple choice. And then this one, again, that one was a multiple response. And let's go ahead and change that one as well. Um, let's Unview that one, and let's just make this one a uh, a three answer choice. So basically, all you need to do with three answer choices, whoops, with the three answer choice is set it right here as comma three, and so that makes only three answer choices. The next one down has a two answer choice. Then column A, row 3, has a two answer. So this one now says B is the correct answer, but I only want to show two. So I put that comma two in there to specify as, as a two response. Now let me make that uh, again, that multiple response question again in row 4. Now how to do the multiple response questions? 
is a little different. Uh, like I said, you do need to put that MR in, but there's something else that you need to be aware of. And I'll show you that real quick here. So if I wanted to say A and, uh, let's say A and C were the correct answers. A and C, correct, incorrect. Okay. So uh, when I change the question and the answers, I can then go up here, go to the actions, and then I say A comma C comma M R is correct. Now I want to make sure uh, to to make this aware that you have to put A comma C rather than C comma A uh, in um, and make sure they're in alphabetical order uh, because if the if it's not in alphabetical order as it's displayed here it will uh, not work and it will break the the code so it has to make sure to be in an alphabetical order A comma C uh, comma M R and again, MR is just signifying that it's a multiple, respo multiple response question and have that functionality of it. So let's go ahead and view that. So I like to view it in a, a browser rather than doing it in a preview mode. Just uh, that just makes sure you have you're rendering it and uh, rendering the question the way it should be should be viewed. So again, this used to be a multiple response, but just by uh, deleting the MR and uh, another answer choice um, in that variable, I made this a multiple choice question. So then I press continue and move on. And now this one used to be a four choice, um, multiple, uh, multiple choice. Now I made it only three, just by putting that three in there. It's very simple, just by putting that in there. And then again, this is a, a true and false type question just by putting the two and then you can see the multiple response with the submit button popping up pressing correct and then this is how it kind of how it'll look if it's incorrect so it comes up as incorrect and gives you a red screen so that's pretty much it. That's how you change the uh, functionality of each question as well as changing the question itself and the answer choices.